So I suppose, Lord, you're going to tell me that that's not you playing the piano. I suppose that's just some guy who can pound some ivory and remember a tune. I suppose you're going to tell me, or you're going to try to tell me, that karma belongs to me. Mm. I suppose you're going to try to tell me a lot of things when I see you next. So, before you, I suppose what most people would call slap me down, which I know that every time I fight with you, I always wind up losing. But nobody knows how wonderful it is to lose at the hand of you. Well, I suppose you're going to tell me that this life that the American people are living and the rest of the world doesn't matter to me at the moment. I'm just not in the rest of the world. I'm in the United States. So let's just say, let's just prioritize here. That this life is something that I created and that I did in my past life or something or another or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I suppose you have every right to land a mighty blow when I say that I don't buy any of this. Well, not most of it anyway. That I only know what I know and what that knowledge comes from you, it's what you've shown me. No, the American people, I suppose, are waiting for me to say something really mean and profound and blah, blah, blah. But I said always that I see you first before I see the individual. So I'm going to start this with talking to you just like I said, because there's no point in going to the puppet. The puppet can't hear me. The puppet can't respond. So I'm going to the puppet master, and that's you. That's you, Lord, and here we are. I know that I suppose, I do I suppose a lot of things, but only from past experiences do I say this, believe me. I suppose I am not supposed to have any kind of real happiness or bliss on this day? Is, is that what you're trying to tell me? Because, boy, the word Diva Diksha, the, the Hindu word or Sanskrit word for is Diva Diksha Day. Talk about a D-list. Ho! Oh. I want to be on this D-list. Move over, Kathy Griffin. So this is my Diva Diksha Day, May 1st. And Guru Mai, or formerly known as Swami Chidvalasananda, and her Swamis all know this. Yet not one lifted a breath in congratulations. Nor did they even mention it to anybody, any of my neighbors, my friends, no one. My mom doesn't know she died. My family doesn't know. Know what? Diva Diksha, that I happen to unite with you. So why should I play this game that I, I didn't do that, that that didn't happen? Well, I'm not. This is one of the best days of my life and for good reason. If anybody has won the brass ring, it is I. And that's a fact. But right now, I'm sitting here wondering if I should be dancing or spit in your face. What's up with, what's up with, what's up with, you know, Siddha Yoga? 
what's up with a, a, a guru for 20, 24, 25 years never acknowledging my existence? And then her swamis being so rat pack like also don't stand on their own two feet. Only enough to pull away and go out on their own again, but you know, and pull away from the monkhood, but not ever to say, hey, congratulations, Anita. No. That means you, Lord, had nothing to say to me. That means you had nothing, it's no congratulations for me, and I accepted that. But I tell you, I really, really, really appreciate Ganesh. Yeah, they might call him mentally challenged or handicapped or downright retarded, but that little boy, oh, that little boy was my witness and is and will always be my witness. Oh, no. He saw it. He grabbed my face moments after the transformation. So at least I have that. And that, oh, no, Lord, I won't spit in your face because you gave me that moment. And if that's what you think all I need for acknowledgement and don't have an ego and stay away from the pride and the envy and all that, oh, fine, fine. If you want me to stay true to the scriptures in any way, you know and I know. Every step I've gone with you. So take me where you will and do what you will with me has been my motto until today. Today, I'm asking you to set me free. No more strings, no more puppets. I don't want to work for you. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I simply don't want to play the game. And the reason I say that, Lord, is because you cheat. You know, fuck you. You cheat. Be what, because there's no one to stop you? You think that rape and, and, and a, a, a little bit of meat in your hand, you can just whip the world? into, into uh, the most ugliest woman you've ever had. And that's what she is. The earth is a woman. And the people upon it are feminine and masculine. We all know this. But it's you, Lord. It's not the American people. It's not the people, you know, who prey on each other. It's you. Now, I understand the evolution of the soul. Fuck all the goddamn scripture shit, all right? I ain't got all that. Why? Why do you continue? The game has been over since I was 30. Maybe when I was four, I just didn't know it and you weren't really needed me to maybe mature and didn't need me to know too much then. But by 30, why are you still hurting me like this? If I'm supposed to tell the world what you look like, what you actually look like, that you're actually real. If I'm supposed to say anything to the world, it means you want me to describe you to you. Now, why would you want me to do that? You're as ugly as a baboon's ass right now. I don't see much beauty, except that that we've already coveted. Ed, for years, has hidden his art. My need to express this deep anger I came to this world in a beautiful way has been suppressed. So many of us came here to help you at your beck and call. Now, when I say all of us, I, you know and I know the scriptures say that there's only one will. So there is only one. So everything's yours, right? Karma, right? Yep, mud hole, snake pit right? Venom in my arteries. Yeah? Okay. All you. One. You. I don't exist. So what, what's this? What's this mouthing off to God shit? Yeah, that's what I said. What's this mouthing off to God shit? I need help, Lord. I can't do any more of this, man. I need help, and you have to give it because you owe me a boon. I carried your true secrets within me. And it's only a glimpse, I understand, but it's something you want me to convey to the world right now so that maybe you can do something about it in a big way. Meaning, 
you will move every heart that needs moving in whatever direction it needs moving. But I swear, if it avalanches on me one more time, I'm gonna fucking spit in your face, turn my back on you and beg you to grant me a boon of total annihilation. I don't want to spend another minute knowing of your existence. I don't care how almighty if this continues. You promise a golden age, I promise a golden age. In my heart, in all of our hearts, we carry the promise of a golden hour, a golden day, a golden sun, a golden god, a golden sleep. I want it. Fulfill your promises and just get on with it. Now I know, and everyone knows, that has any yoga whatsoever that only a few are going to ever hear this message. A few. But those few I gave heads up to because they're the ones that I know for a fact are divine. Okay? I know for a fact that they are on your team. They were picked on your team and I'm going to use them to stand and light the way. That's it. I mean the way we are, not the path. The path can be whatever we want. I understand but here's what I'm getting at. Evolution of the soul, I understand. Fixing the world is not gonna happen, I understand. But awakening a few is necessary for you and me right now. I understand that. For my salvation, for nothing else. I'm going to take an intermission and go wipe my eyes, Lord. And then I'm gonna come back and ask you one question. And it has to be answered in every heart on the planet, eventually. So for those who do know for a fact that they won your grace, I need them to stand up and block the avalanche of oral diarrhea that's gonna come my way when I ask you this question, okay? And when the reality sets in, you gotta promise me no rioting, no violence outside thyself. I swear, don't you dare show me any more of that. I won't use harsh profanity or be very offensive. I'm going to simply ask you a question. And I'm going to give you a command right now. Because, yeah, because I dare to. I'm going to give you a command during this intermission. And uh, do it. Or not, you got a real big slap coming from me if you don't. I need you to absolutely not fight me on this, Lord. My little sister Rhonda. seemingly took the worst of it. In her mind, it's very relative. You have to fix it. I'm commanding you to fix it. And by God, don't you dare blow her psyche to pieces. When she wakes up after hearing this, whenever she hears this, the next time she sleeps, she sleeps in your arms. And the next time she wakes up, she wakes up with you in her heart 101%. You fix it. My words and yoga and books could never, never erase or weaken the pain that girl is suffering every minute at your hand. 
Oh, fuck what happened to me and Ray and Rob and the rest of us and my mom. Fuck that. Fern was a pig. He was a scumbag predator. Fuck him. But at the same time, it's you, Lord, who has to show her that Vern was indeed one of the very best souls you ever had. That's why he is on the stage with you here today. He always was. He was just playing a part. But that kind of understanding isn't gonna come from my lips or from any book, any yoga teacher could write. It's not written down anywhere. Not really. But you're gonna write it down now. You're gonna write it down in her heart and in her mind and let her walk totally free as the goddess and love that I know she is to you. That's my command. And man, Let's just talk here. Let's just talk about what really is bothering me. And what's really bothering me is that I don't know why you gave me all this information about you if you didn't want me to use it. So let's just say you don't want me to use it. Okay, so nobody moves, all right? The Berkeley School of Law just goes on vacation and their, their spring vacations are still, the, you know, the same drinking, sand, you know, suck and fuck weekend they got every year, okay? So the rats keep breeding. Who gives a shit? Not me. And that's what we are. Well, that's what you've told me I am the last year or so. You made sure that I am worth nothing to anybody, really. So, evidently, maybe you're trying to say that the reality is that we're God killers? Well, not me, but well, I know I'm not, and I know a lot of other people who are not also. Rosie. O'Donnell was the greatest comedian when she hit Donald Trump so hard it was made him fucking scream. I love that. That was the best joke in the world. The other two assholes that went with Donald Trump, you know, uh, what's her name? Walters and that dumb fuck. I suck, I shouldn't swear. Regis Philman has a wife who will stand up to him. How lucky can he be? I swear to God. <coughs> She'll call in and say, oh, Regis, you're lying. <coughs> You're simply lying. Okay. That kind of woman is divine. Plain and simple. For a man who doesn't know what's wrong with throwing a coat at his wife in a restaurant so he can get his face in front of a maitre d' needs help. But there really is no helping him. He will continue to breed that kind of mentality until something happens. And hopefully, in my book... I hope jo Joy happened, and I hope she happened to him with a cast iron skillet upside the head. Because he has a lot of making up to do to Rosie before he gets on the D list of any kind. And the only chance he does is through his wife. That's it. Surrounds himself by women in this life, and he can't stand up for Rosie when a, you know, a snake like Donald rips into her for a joke, and he wants to be a funny man. It's like that. That's the point. I don't want to change the world. I want Anita Hill to stand up again. And this time the headline should say, Anita, Anita, the way Lottie used to say it, with great affection. Because I want Clarence Thomas gone. 
period. And I will put on my boots right now. I'll put my boots on. And just as soon as I can, I'll be the first one racing and should be the only one racing to the Supreme Court to find his office. Because as far as I'm concerned, Lord, I'm telling you so you can tell him. He's got 10 minutes to put his keys and credentials on the desk, take his coat, his coat, hat, and that's it, out the door. Anything else personal, we will give him back to him, no problem, we'll send it to him. No, he won't be getting a pension, and no, he doesn't have a lifetime position. No one does. Not ever again. Not in my book. Not in my country. Not when they go this wrong. He was never good enough. That's what Anita Hill said. He was never good enough to represent one, let alone all. Yet Biden and Hatch made a circus of it. Now, I'll deal with them later. In fact, it's already in writing. Just read about it, because I'm done talking. Are you ready, Lord? I'm going to ask you one question. Just one. Because when I get up, I have to turn to the American people and say something. You know why? Because I said so. And what I said, or what I'm going to say, cannot have any venom. So I have to dump the venom on you. Okay? So here, here's a question. What is the point? What is the point of having a God of love when he is so hell-bent on hurting you with love? What's the point of having a God of love who's so hell-bent on hurting you with love? That's the question that's going to be shoved up your ass on my boot. Lord, if you cannot answer it now, you hurt me with love? Moi? Me? And now you want me to go and tell the people that you are real and alive and almighty and you got everything under control and it's only a, a way of tilting, your way of thinking that you might stop eating and, and breeding off each other? No. I'd rather let them just feed off each other like the animals they are. No. You answer me. What is the point of having you as my champion? for the ultimate prize of love, divine love, if you want to hurt me with it. <sighs> the American people can do whatever they want to do, but you, Lord, you have got to do what I tell you to do, because you work for me. Yes, you do, because I'm your puppet, and I don't move unless you make me. And like I said, we'll be fighting. We'll be fighting. I'll scream and, 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 and cry and throw a two-year-old tantrum all the way. I'll be wicked, nasty, and mean if I address the American people this way. So you answer my question. And I want to know. Because, man, you just did me wrong. Yeah, you did me wrong. A 
God that would murder Cupid. A nation, a people, a species that would murder love as easily as you do, Lord, means only one thing. That love indeed has nothing to do with it. And that is going to break my heart if that's the ultimate answer. I don't want to come home. I don't want to be you. I don't want any part of you. Not forever. Not for all of eternity. Not this way. Ciao.